Yeah, welcome. This is In-Depth Analysis. Today, I came here specifically for the ladies. Ladies, make a call, make a sit down. You guys should sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me talk to you. You ready? All right. Ladies, eh? Time don't reach when I go to get small sense. I'm not trying to beef. I'm not trying to bash. Before you attack me, listen to me, please. So just relax. You see, eh? we should learn how to control our emotions, most especially when we are anxious. Most especially when we want to vindicate ourselves. When we feel somebody is carrying out a smear campaign on us and we feel we have that anxiety going on, raging inside of us and we want to vindicate ourselves. I think we should learn how to control our emotions. I saw this interview because yesterday I did a video about Harry Song where he was uh, speaking about his rivalry with uh, Casey and uh, also in the interview he called out his ex-wife. Fortunately or, or unfortunately, I came across this interview of his ex-wife and I felt disappointed her shame begin to catch me because I've been the few say Harry Song no get sense but after after listening to her interview it was a disappointment ladies please calm down before you start bashing it was a disappointment because the truth is I think it's time for the ladies to stop using their emotions to react to things. I think they should use both their emotions and their brain. I think that will, that will give them a favorable outcome. But if you use only your emotion, you will end creating more problem. If not now, maybe in the future. You need to take a deep breath before you take a decision. First of all, you need to understand two wrongs don't make it right at all. Not at all. Two wrongs can never ever make it right. You get. I'll come, I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it at the end of my, at the end of this video so that I, I think I, I have one solution to situations like that. But I'll talk about it at the end of this video. Let me, let me shed a little light or let me talk about what brought me here, which is the interview Harry Song's wife granted it was shameful because you get beef with your husband no means say you go drag your own self to the mud that's you go drag your own self plus your husband make could enter mud you know they think see yes the word says speak out speak out speak out no doubt but if you want to speak out speak out to speak out to 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 the speak out to the people you know you're going to get solutions from not just talk because you want talk because one of the problems causing all of this is because the lady wants to vindicate herself it's not because she's seeking solution I think before you speak in situations like that, it's, it, it shouldn't be about vindication. It should be about seeking help, not vindication. Because if you go for vindication, you'll get it wrong. You will act with your emotions and you will talk to the wrong person. Now tell me, why would a lady sit down with a man that cannot even control his own home, that cannot keep his own wife, even at some... At some uh, episode in, in his marriage he was being accused of physical violence and you'll be discussing with him how your husband cheats on you and he'll be asking you if your husband cheats on you and you tell him your husband gives you infection and that's why you buy condom for him so that you won't get infected anymore you protect you tell him how you protect yourself against your husband because he has numerous girlfriends outside now that's why this man will now have the gods to ask you 
why are you pregnant for your husband i will play the video just calm down i just want to give you guys an insight and you self you go sit down begin to explain to the man discussing your sexual life your personal life with this man to the point you go tell him say man your husband that accuses you say your boobs they fallen Can you imagine? Why the man no go come get God to now ask you, how old are you? How old is your husband? Then after you tell him how old your husband is, then he will ask you, why did you marry your husband? Why would you marry a man that is so much older than you? You will marry, but if you will marry your age mate, how far? How far? Now you they ask another person that kind of question. The person that asks you, are you still separated or you are single or you're divorced? And you go sit down there, they answer, they explain. Man, I felt ashamed. Women, they could not try to calm down. They could not try to calm down. Yes, in as much as how young you are, you need to understand you're now a mother. You are now a mother. Man. It was a shameful one. As in you brought your entire life. Marital life outside. Should I call that illiteracy or what? Make I play on to Namukuna listen. You guys should calm down and listen to this. What was cheating on you? The cheating part that was becoming so much. Everybody would be like, leave this place. They will say, um, is a celebrity, of course, you know before you enter. So that will not be a problem, which is understandable. The amount of infections I have treated because of this whole thing is becoming too much. I cannot be in a marriage and the man will not even use condom outside. The girlfriends are not one. The girlfriends are not two. Then let's come to body shape. Before you go into this, I hope you know that we are also going to have to hear Harry Song's of, side of the story. Of course, of but course, has, of course. Three, the are the, the um, allegations that have been leveled against you. It would be nice uh, to hear your side of the story. Your ex-wife complained about infections, and not one, not two, according to her story. We want to hear your side because you know. Here on Daddy Freeze Live, we're always very fair. Your ex-wife also said you slapped her. Um, is this true? And uh, uh, the, the affairs she said you are having. Um, please, we'd like to hear your side of the story. You were saying about the infections. Tell us a bit about that. Okay, so when at a point, I was like, okay, do you know what? We'll, we'll start using protection so that we can be able to also hold on on childbearing and also the infection. He agreed. I can, even the, the, the pack of condom that I bought, that I carried from the house we're living, so this my particular room that I'm staying, is also, is still here. When he, when he, when he goes on with, with doing whatever he's doing with those girls, it's not my business, and then he will not come back home and start to body shame me, tell me i have stretch marks i'm not good enough i'm second hand Whoa. Did you have a child before you met him no so how are you second hand that if i if i because when his body telling me all these things and they're like I'm, i cannot do this anymore he say even if i go out no man would accept me because i have i'm i'm second hand i'm a I'm mother of girls okay so you have have no son yes i'm oh. currently pregnant right now you are currently pregnant yes but i want to ask you why are you getting pregnant when you are complaining this much about him the thing is it's not even like we're having this um intercourse all the time for when it like i i even had to give space for one here before we were able to before i still even consider and i didn't even know so I told him about it. I was like, what do we do? Let's sit down as couples and think about what do we do? He said, 
um, we should keep it because he's looking for a boy. So he does, does not know if this one will be a boy. And me, I'm like, I don't have strength to be. It's not. It, it's not time like it, it will come to me and said he wants to have something, and I will not agree because he's my husband. Uh, so you've never rejected him. I before. have never never rejected him before. The fact that he body shames me and calls me ugly, stretch mark, not having standing boobs like his side cheeks, and um, I'm mother of girls. All of these things have put me into depression for so long. And he will tell me even if I speak out, nobody will believe me. Okay, let, 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 let's rewind a little. How yeah. old are you? I'm 23. I'm going to be 24 this year. Okay. You are going to be 24 this year. How old were you when you got married? 20 years. Did you ever cheat on him? I have never. Did, did he ever have reason to suspect that you cheated on him? No. So, so now, how old is Harry? He's going to be 43 this year. And you are 23? Yes. So he's 20 years older than you? Yes. Why did you marry a man who's 20 years older than you? I... I don't even know. I just thought maybe it would be it would be wiser and matured and be able to take care of me. Now, are you divorced? Are you separated? What is your status right now? Separated. Officially separated. Yes. I hope you guys heard her. You see, I keep telling people, hmm? I keep telling people that one good friend, no, let me start it this way. I tell people that make sure you have this one good friend, one very good friend, because one very good friend is better than 10,000 therapists. Why did I say so? I will explain. Therapy. Hmm? Therapy, a person business, is a rigorous form of literature. In go decide in idea to indiscretion to tell you what he want tell you to make you happy, to play with your psychology, give you solution, make you feel say they work. Sure you understand. Nobody get proper insight into another person at all. I know what I'm saying. I just don't want to go deeper. No let one good friend go tell you how it be. When I say one good friend, a person will say, you self, you believe, say this guy is not criticizing me because the truth hurts, no doubt. The truth comes like criticism. But when you listen to this one good friend, you go, no, say this person is coming from a point of truth. Not somebody you go pay. Therapy in a person business. Now, why did I bring all this? Is because after she finished to talk, maybe she even paid for this section where she go waste money for, I don't know. But after she finished explaining all this, because I watched the video to the end, I only decided to pick point this particular. At the end of the whole thing, there was no solution. The only thing I heard was more business, which was Harry Song, come on, you have the right of reply, come and defend yourself, so that he will get more views and more revenues. What, what am I saying? More business to himself. Now, my question is, this lady where they go seek solution or where they go seek vindication, she not do background check. What does she feel get solution from this place, for this place where she they go? Person will not feel keep your own wife. Now that person won't talk to you how you want to keep your husband. Man, make we learn how to get sense, so. Make we learn how to get sense. Because, see, make I give now one expo. Hmm? And I make her the cut cap. You, you guys know me, Adochi, right? Me, Adochi, you, Adochi, your wife. Yeah. You know the biggest weapon to smear campaign? Yeah. Even men, oh yeah, calling her husbands. Let me give you guys one expo. 
the biggest weapon to smear campaign. When somebody wants to pull you down, using half-truths, using lies to pull you down, silence. Silence is the best weapon for it. And that's why I did cut cap for me, which I did cut cap for Zubi Michael. I'll talk about that in much later video. I'll talk about smear campaign and how to handle it. But at this point, I want to say a big thank you to all of you. And